Jackson. Bye. Are you ready to get up? No. No? Okay. You can have five more minutes, okay? Okay. Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm gonna to share with you my kids' new summer morning routine. Summertime can be stressful. Kids are out of school and they're always looking for something to do. And I can tell you from experience that if I don't have a routine or if I don't enforce my routine, things get a little bit chaotic around here. And I have to tell you right off the bat that this routine doesn't always happen, but it's there and we try our best. So if you're looking for some routine ideas or some tips, stay tuned. Now at the beginning of this school year, I shared videos that included our morning routine and our bedtime routine. And I recently shared with you our morning routine when we're at a hotel, so when we're away from home. But I have lots of requests to share what we do for summer when we're out of school and we're at home and the kids are getting bored. So that's what I'm sharing today. Now, of course, if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like videos like this. Now, like I was saying before, I've already shared videos on morning and evening routines, and I even have some printables available for you guys on thefamilyfudge.com if you're looking for a good old classic morning and bedtime routine. But our summer routine is a little bit different. We're not doing school, we're not doing as many activities, and I kind of let the kids have a break. You know, it's their summer break, so we don't do as much when we're at home. But I don't want to have a crazy, messy house, and I also want the kids to learn responsibility and scheduling and routines and things like that. So here's our new morning routine for summer. You'll notice it looks a lot like our regular morning routine, just like this, except this time we have a checkoff list. So the kids can check them off as they go. And on the bottom, we also have some special tasks that they need to get done. Now let me show you how our routine goes. Now when it's summer break, we definitely like to sleep in when we can, and usually the kids don't get out of bed until about 7.30. Now first on our list is to make the bed. I really encourage the kids to make their beds just as soon as they get up. It just sets the tone for the day. But I don't demand perfection when it comes to making the beds. I just like them to be neat with no blankets on the floor, no pillows on the floor, and they try their best, and that's good enough for me. Because let me just tell you, I'm not always good at this one myself. No, I don't always make my bed. But when I do, I do feel more productive. Now usually in the mornings, the kids end up playing around while I'm making breakfast. And sometimes I'll make a special breakfast and sometimes it's just cereal. It really just depends on how much time we have and how ambitious I'm feeling. So for today's breakfast, I'm making something that's easy, but special. I'm making an oatmeal bar. Now on most mornings, my husband is actually home as well, so he's a great help to me and the kids when we're trying to get this routine done. And on this day, he actually made a big bowl of oatmeal in our Instant Pot. It was really quick and easy and it came out perfect. Now one of the things that the kids really love at any meal is the opportunity to customize it themselves. So for this breakfast, we gave them each some oatmeal and then we gave them lots of toppings to choose from. We had bananas and strawberries, we had brown sugar, raisins, peanut butter, lots of different choices. So they can make it however they want it. Now after breakfast, it's time to clean up and I really like when everybody cleans up after themselves which again doesn't always happen, but they're still learning. So all the dishes need to go in the sink. And then I usually deal with them later. Now you'll notice with this routine video that I'm not really talking about my routine, it's just mostly the kids, because I kind of fit in what I need to do throughout how I'm helping them. So I'll help them and then I'll do something for myself, then I'll help them and then I'll get ready and so on. The next part of our routine is get dressed. I really encourage the kids not to sit around in their pajamas all day. It definitely doesn't make us feel productive when we do that. Unless somebody's sick or not feeling very well, and then a pajama day is totally fine. Now these next two things on our list often get swapped around. Sometimes this one will happen first and sometimes that one, but that's okay with me. We have brush teeth and brush your hair. Now when it comes to the kids and their hair, usually I've been the one to do the hair because they actually enjoy fixing hair, but I also want the kids to be able to learn to do it themselves. So we're really focusing on that over the summer, how to fix it themselves, how to make sure to keep the tangles out, and how to do an easy style. 
which for us means a headband. Now when it comes to summertime hair, I let the girls try their best. I mean, our favorite summer hairstyle is to put a headband on it. Go ahead, girls. Get all the tangles out, put a headband on it, and call it good. So Jackson totally surprised me. Look at the great job he did with his hair. I put, I did it like mommy does when we're on like trips. Yeah, it looks so nice. And I put hairspray on. Oh, so it's gonna stay good all day. Uh-huh. Good job, guys. Good job, man. <laughs> and then of course it's time to brush the teeth. Now this is something I don't normally do for them, although they do a lot better job if I supervise while they're brushing. Now so far this is looking like our regular morning routine, and it kind of is, but next is when it's gonna get really different because in the summertime, in the mornings, I have work that I still need to get done, so I'm giving them tasks that I expect them to do before they can have screen time. So before they can watch TV or use a computer or any electronics, they need to make sure to get these things done. Now when it comes to these activities, I don't necessarily care if they do them in a certain order, and they don't even have to do the same activity at the same time. So one of the kids could be doing this one, one of the kids could be doing that one, as long as they all get everything checked off. This list includes 20 minutes of reading. Now I say reading time, but reading time for the younger two kids is a little bit different because they don't actually read independently at this point. So sometimes the older kids will read to them or I will read to them or they'll just look through a book on their own. So they're not necessarily reading the whole time. For this list, I also included some summer learning. Time for workbooks! Now over the summer, I don't do a full curriculum or anything like that. I'm happy if the kids just do one or two pages in these simple little workbooks. Nothing major, just so they don't forget what they learned during the school year. And you guys, I have to show you the schoolroom because right now, it doesn't really look like a homeschool room, does it? No. So for the summer, we took down the whiteboard, we took down the letter, the letter line, and we kind of transformed this into a fun space, right? Where we can make videos and play with toys. So on this shelf, we used to have all of our homeschool supplies and right now we have toys. So we have all the toys that companies send us, toys that we wanna make videos about. We have them all over here. Next on the list is some outdoor playtime. The kids can go on the trampoline, they can ride their bikes, they can go on their ziggles, which are really cool. <laughs> now the schedule says 20 minutes, but usually once these guys get outside, they end up spending a lot longer than 20 minutes. Is it fun? Yeah! Yay! Usually at summertime around here, it gets pretty hot by noon, so we wanna try to get outdoors while it's still cool in the morning. The last thing on this list is one of my favorites, and that's morning yoga. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. So far, our morning routine is going really well. This usually takes up all morning, and by the time the kids are done, it's almost time for lunch, so it's been working out pretty well. I'll go ahead and put a printable copy of this on thefamilyfudge.com if you'd like to print one out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.